celebrity chef Ed Cotton is here with a mouthwatering twist on the typical Thanksgiving feast. This Thursday, we're going to eat, yep, wait for it, 46 million turkeys for Thanksgiving. So naturally, we wondered, how many of those are turduckins? Well, that's a chicken inside a duck inside of a whole turkey. We brought in Chef Ed Cotton. He is the executive chef of the West Village Social Italian restaurant, Sato 13. And it's great to have you with us here. Good to be here. Thank you. And you also brought a turducken. I certainly did. Wouldn't and, be complete without bringing a turducken. And why? Why go there? Why do turducken? Why not? It's a good conversation piece. It obviously. is a good conversation yeah. piece. <clears throat> Instead of showing up to somebody's house with a turkey, why not bring a turducken? Because it takes a lot more effort. And you get to show you get to show off what you, what your skills are all about. <laughs> How much more effort does it take? It's hard enough to get the turkey right. I can only imagine you've got three different meats in there. Yeah. That that's going to make it even more difficult. It sounds very. Uh, Difficult, yeah. But. but you're a chef. You're a celebrity chef. So when you say it sounds very difficult to the average person, it is very difficult. How do you do it? Well, the, what the easiest thing to do uh, when preparing this is have people do all the work for you. Have your butcher bone it out for you. Have You, you don't need to sit there and slave over your cutting board and <laughs> boning it out and all that. Have your butcher bone out the turkey, the duck, the chicken. And what's very... Uh, what does that mean? Have your butcher bone it out. <laughs> well, uh, just remove all the bones. There's absolutely zero okay. bones. There's no bones. There's, no, it's 100% sliceable, ready to go. No bones. You're not going to be chewing on anything. So I go to my butcher and I say, I want a turkey, a duck, and a, a chicken yep. without any bones. Yeah. And then I take these three separate birds home and I wrap them all around each other? Pretty much, yeah. It's, it's a little <laughs> a bird party. So, um, yeah, so just tell your butcher that it, by now they should understand what a traducan is, the butchers, and be like, They've heard this word before. They should have, if, yeah, if it's a mainstream type of place. Um, but, you know, say, I'm making a traducan. I would like you to bone out all these birds for me and keep the, bur the bones for me. And, uh, Why do you want to keep the bones? Because you got to have a gravy, right? So you can make a traducan gravy. So why not? I feel like they might either think you're making turducken or you're like a serial killer on the side with some weird fantasies about different yeah, birds. And... Yeah, probably. Okay. <laughs> so you take all of these birds, you wrap them around each other. How do you know how long to cook it? Is it longer? Does it take a longer cook time than a turkey? Uh, no, you know, you'd be surprised that it's probably uh, around the same. This is a 12 to 15 pound uh, turkey and the chicken is about two and a half pounds and the duck is almost around the same, uh, just a touch smaller probably. So about equal size is what you want to go for? Yeah, well, for the duck and the chicken, then the turkey is the, the star. So that's the biggest one, 12 to 15 pounds. So it, it's roasted, you know, it, it's all stuffed with three different stuffings, or you could use one universal, universal stuffing throughout. But I like to mix it up, and I do three different stuffings in each bird. Uh, I do a dirty rice, I do a uh, cornbread and jalapeno and mm. uh, pepper jack uh, stuffing, and then I do a traditional, um, uh, you know, regular good old fashioned turkey stuffing. Sounds delicious. So, and you know, roll that all up, tie it, and uh, roast it up. Until... How long, you said for the 12 to 15 pound yeah. turkey that, that, that encompasses the turducken, how long are you cooking this for and at what temperature? So. I usually, what I'll do is I'll, I'll roast this whole thing for, it, it takes, you know, a good, probably two, two and a half hours, uh, three hours total, like, to let it rest and all that stuff. So, and it should come out nice and juicy. The, the duck meat should be nice and medium rare in the center. Uh, the, 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 the biggest part is the turkey, and that will be fully cooked. So. How do you like to eat it? Are you eating each of these meats separately, or is, do all the flavors come together? All the flavors come together. What does this, that taste like? Again, it's each, with each bite that you have, it's a new experience, because you have the traditional uh, Thanksgiving Day stuffing, you have the dirty rice stuffing, you have the cornbread stuffing, so each bite is like, oh wow, I just got some I'm of the rice. I'm thankful for a new thing. Yeah. Thank you so much, Chef Ed Cotton. It's Not great to have you with us here on Real Biz. Good to be here. You can like us, tweet us at Rebecca Jarvis and comment below. And from the studios in New York City, I'm Rebecca Jarvis. Have a great day.